Hi guys, welcome to another illustration and animation tutorial. In this lesson you'll learn how to create an illustration from thumbnails and clean sketch to colorful and textured illustration and how to make a simple animation in After Effects. You're watching TNT Tutorials? Let's move on! You should always begin with the searching for the right reference and make a rough thumbnails. You'll save a lot of time and will thank yourself later. Thumbnails are important because you'll get an understanding of what will work for you the best. Just do them quickly. Thumbnails should be pretty rough and almost spontaneous. Draw a clean sketch only after you make sure you did a good work creating drafts. If you want to practice along with me, you can join me on Patreon and download my sketch, reference, textures and brushes. Also, I'd like to mention that you can support this video with thumbs up. It tells me that you enjoy my content and you want me to make more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get new tutorials each week. Let's continue with importing Sketch to Illustrator. I feel very comfortable with creating A4 formats in a print section. You can create any format you want to use. Workflow here is pretty straightforward. Simply create grayscale shapes using the pen tool. Then click on this menu to make each object in this scene a separate layer. To export file in Photoshop, click on File, Export and select PSD. So now we're in Photoshop and first of all we start with a color. If you double-click on a layer, you'll see this panel. Go to Color Overlay and apply color. After this you can call this panel anytime and change it. My hotkey for Color Overlay is Ctrl plus R. It calls Color Overlay immediately. I remind you that you can join me on Patreon and get all needed material to practice along with me. Let me give you an advice to apply texture. Bring a texture to needed layer and press Ctrl plus U. Check Colorize and adjust sliders to get needed color. Let's cover another example. By the way, for those who didn't know, hold Alt or Option key and click between layers to make clipping mask. In some cases you might struggle with the hue saturation, so let's use curves and levels first to adjust the tone and contrast. And then duplicate base layer on top of texture and apply color blending mode to it. After this you can add even a bit more curves or levels. Here we can use the blending mode to see what we can get or invert texture by pressing Ctrl plus I. In this case it's better to use the texture brush. Don't forget that you can literally draw needed texture like this. Small details are highly important, but you should place them thoughtfully and not overdo. Now I'll optimize and clean this illustration before animating it. What I mean is you need to delete empty or unneeded layers, flatten all textures with main layers and make sure you didn't miss anything. After this, simply save your file. Let's import our PSD file to After Effects and move on with the animation. I'll begin with the fingers. Let's make an original fingers layer transparent to use it as a reference. Create a line with the pen tool and adjust round cap for it. Then we duplicate this finger and begin to match our reference. We animate fingers a bit later, since there's a need to go through the layers and parent them according to the plan of animation. See that names in the appearing menu? That's the parent layers. Now we'll move the anchor points. It's crucial to place them properly, because each layer will rotate around its anchor point. It's ok to rewatch some moments a few times. This is a part of the learning process. So don't hesitate to watch misunderstood parts again, this will hugely help you. Alright, so now we begin with the animation itself. It's going to be pretty easy, so I hope I'll encourage you to create your own character animation after you watch how I do this. I'm excited to see your progress, so you can share it with me on my Instagram. As you can see, I play only with one rotation parameter here. I move keyframes along the timeline to get needed tempo and intensity. Here I work with the graph editor. Beginners can skip this part and don't worry too much about it.
Rotation parameter again, but for another layer. And we begin to get some result without much of an effort. Fingers animation is very easy. Create a keyframe for the first finger position, then move the playhead and change the line. That's it. Just repeat this process for all further finger movements. Now I enter the buttons pre-compose and animate them to match finger tapping. Now I'll create an eye within the After Effects to be able to animate eyes well. Just rewatch the eye creation, make notes if needed, and use my video as a guide when creating your own character's eyes. Alright, so here we're creating an alpha mat for pupils. Now we can move them and they won't be visible outside of the eyes. After this we select these layers and enter word size in the search bar. Parent the size parameters to the first size parameter like you can see here. This will allow you to animate eyes by changing only one size parameter, which makes the process extremely straightforward from now. The things you see here are a bit overwhelming for beginners, but I do want to remind you that you should rewatch everything that you misunderstood as many times as you need to nail it. And you should practice these methods in your own illustrations, because it's the only way to learn what I show you. Now we need to add a shadow to fingers. Copy fingers from the fingers layer one by one to have them like you see here. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose fingers, and use the layer styles to add inner shadow. Then adjust it like this and copy settings to other fingers. I'll change the layer order also. Now we need only alpha mat to make a soft fade for the shadow. As you can see, it wasn't that difficult. All you need is a strategy, so use steps from this lesson to create your next illustration. Let me know what you think, check out other videos on my channel, and don't forget to subscribe to get more tutorials from TNT. This was TNT Tutorials, see you in the next video, guys!